watching Senior Support on Your TV. We're bringing this show to you in a different way, using different technology. And a big thank you to our Your TV producer, Ann Workhoven, for encouraging us to do this. My name is Debbie mcdonald Moyne. I'm your host. I'm also Executive Director of the Prince Edward County Community Care for Seniors Association and a co community co-producer of the show. The other co-producer is Shelley Wirth, and Shelley is the Executive Director of Community Care for South Hastings. Today, our topic is Meals on Wheels. We want to give you information on this important program during the pandemic, and our guest is Shelley Wirth from Community Care for South Hastings. Welcome, Shelley. Oh, hi, Debbie. Thank you for having me. So good that you could be here and tell us about the important program that you're offering. But let's first know a little bit more about you. You've been with Community Care for South Hastings for quite some time now. Yes, I've been here, I guess it's 12 years now. A little bit more, <clears throat> excuse me, more than that. I came here from Vancouver. Um, where I worked with seniors out there for about 13 years. So I got about 25 years under my belt. 25 years working with seniors. And mm -hmm. now you're operating a very large and active Meals on Wheels program serving the um, Belvillain area. So um, let's first talk about the hot meal program. Can you tell us a bit about that and how it works? Okay, so our, our hot meal program, currently we have a commercial kitchen. Um, on site here in Belleville, and we have a Red Seal chef that prepares all our hot meals for us. Um, we serve hot meals four days a week uh, currently, so Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then um, typically, when it's not um, this time, we would be having a, a diner's club on the fifth day. But uh, we deliver to all of Belleville, what used to be Thurlow, the outlying regions and that kind of thing so yeah and I, I don't know if you want to hear about Deserado at all or and and so the our I don't think our your tv viewing area takes in Deserado okay. but your agency in fact does and you deliver meals to seniors in that community as well that's correct that's correct they're prepared by uh, VON Napanee and then they bring them to Deserado and we deliver them from from there and that's Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. So yeah, and all yes. the hot meals have, you know, they've got a, a super salad, an entree um, and a dessert and usually a bun and some butter. Yeah. So it's a full meal for the seniors. And I, I think the um, one of the really important things about Meals on Wheels is that uh, the volunteer is taking the meal directly to the home of the senior that uh, has signed up for the program. Yeah, that's correct. So it's uh, really vital because it provides a security check and a little visit for the, uh, for the client as well. And, and just to see a friendly face is often huge for people. Yes, absolutely. Now, if a person is watching this show and they're thinking about signing up for this, I know our producer will put the phone number for your agency on the bottom of the screen to help people, but can you just walk us through what would happen when, uh, say, a, a senior calls your office and says, I would like to receive the hot meal program? Okay, and well, again, right now it's, it's slightly different times, and that's why we're doing these special shows, but... Typically, a person calls in, um, they would be directed to our intake um, coordinator, and she would record all the information, set it up in her database, um, and then it would go to the, uh, the regional um, care planner, and they would make an appointment and go visit the person. Um, and then we would just start service as soon as possible. If it was urgent, we would sometimes, things like Meals on Wheels, we'll start that in advance. We wouldn't make someone wait. If they just came home from hospital or, um, you know, had an accident or something like that, we're not going to make them wait, you know, three days or four days to, to get a service in place. We would put it in place and then do the paperwork afterwards. Um, and right now, um, we're just uh, sending meals out based on a telephone assessment. Uh, yeah. Yes, things change during uh, this COVID-19 pandemic, don't they? Uh, 
Um, oftentimes things are streamlined. Uh, still they're safe for seniors and, and the volunteers, but um, things are streamlined to get service in place even faster than, um, than and during normal times. Absolutely. I mean, typically we can have things in place the next day. Um, and if it's uh, frozen meals, that's an, uh, you know another story. We'll deliver that immediately if we have to. Mm -hmm. So Shelly, can you just give us an idea? You have a red, red Seal chef. You have a commercial kitchen right there in your office in uh, the location in Belleville. Can you give us an idea of the kinds of things that a person on the Meals and Meals program would expect to receive when that volunteer brings it, the meal to their door? Um, well, I'm, I haven't looked at the menu lately, so, but I do know that there's often um, like roast, so roast beef, roast pork, um, there's ham, homemade scalloped potatoes. Um, there's diff a variety of vegetables. I mean, it, it just uh, depends on, and there's some pasta meals as well and, and sweet and sour chicken and just all kinds of, yeah. And, and she makes um, her own desserts and so yeah, there's homemade rice pudding and there's pies and there's uh, cake and uh, cupcakes, uh, cookies. So, yeah. Sounds yummy. Really, it, it does. It smells yummy too here. <laughs> Do they let you sneak one of those cookies now and then? Absolutely. Absolutely. Part of the orientation process was you have to bring things around the office and, and spoil people. <laughs> well, it sounds as though you're spoiling the seniors that receive the hot meals as well, Shelley. Sounds delicious. And I, I would encourage people who are watching that are thinking about this to call your office and get more information on that. So that Thank you. they can, they can, um, find out more about the details. Um, let's just talk about the frozen program. You did mention that you also have a frozen program um, where you would deliver frozen meals to seniors. Right, um, we get, uh, we purchase frozen meals and they're supplied by a company called Appetito, um, which is out of Brampton. And um, they're designed specifically for meal programs like ours. So they are, uh, low sodium, um, they're the proper uh, quantity that uh, a senior would need to maintain uh, a healthy diet. Um, and we purchase soups from them as well and desserts. And um, they, they have a huge variety, a huge variety. And, and we carry, I would say about 30 of the entrees um, in stock at all time here. And we deliver twice a week. Um, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Um, some people will come in and pick them up during normal times, um, but we don't have that uh, happening much right now. But yeah, we do deliver those to your door too. People will buy for a week at a time. If they've got a small freezer, they'll buy for two weeks or three, you know, depending on what their circumstances are. But um, they're really quite nice. And, and actually the numbers um, for the frozen meals has really um, risen over the past uh, couple of years. I think people find them convenient and, and, you know, they can go to the freezer and they've got choices. I think they're tasty too. Shelly, I, <clears throat> I myself have tried some of those mm -hmm. Appetito frozen meals just to, uh, to see whether, uh, whether I like them and, and they're very tasty. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I used to even buy them for my own mom. So I think that's a, a testament to the product for sure. Mm -hmm. They're uh, high quality and low sodium. So that makes them quite different from the frozen meals that people can find in their grocery store, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. And the other nice thing, Debbie, is the fact that you can get them uh, to meet special diets, you know, so that they note anything that's diabetic friendly. Um, you can get them in different textures, too. If someone's having difficulty chewing or swallowing, they do come in puree, they come in mint. Um, and so you can specifically order what you want, or you can take from our stock here. Mm -hmm. I think another real challenge for people living with diabetes is finding a tasty dessert that they can uh, enjoy. And I, I know that Appetito provides quite a broad range of that kind of dessert suitable for people with diabetes. 
Oh, absolutely. And, and that's important because, you know, it, people will just cheat. Otherwise, let's be honest, nobody wants to completely do without uh, your cookie or your cake or whatever. And so that, that is uh, a really nice thing. And, and lots of time for folks just want a nice dessert and a cup of tea or whatever in the afternoon. And that works well for them. So we've been talking about the frozen meals. We've been talking about the hot meals. And when we mention meals on wheels, we're talking about both kinds of uh, both hot and frozen. Now let's just touch on the volunteers that bring those meals to the home of seniors. Right. Um, yes, yeah, so we usually have a, about 250 volunteers that will rotate through uh, during the year. Um, a lot of them come from church groups. A lot of them come from uh, service groups or or we just get individuals that we match up and make into teams. And uh, again, uh, because people 70 plus um, have been asked to stay home uh, during these times, we've lost a lot of those regular volunteers, um, but we've been very fortunate. They've been replaced with uh, people through Volunteer Information Quinty. They've been sending us along people that aren't working perhaps right now and want to do something for the community. But uh, yeah, the volunteers are definitely, they're an essential part of the program. I mean, we can't do it, you know. We have two offices and, and 11 staff all together. There's no way we're going to deliver 100 meals a day too, so. Mm -hmm. Now Meals on Wheels is not something that uh, just your agency does in Belleville or my agency does in Prince Edward County. In fact, it is a province-wide program and uh, a North American-wide program, uh, and it's it initiated in, in England, in fact. So Meals on Wheels is known in so many countries and in, in so many areas as a way for seniors to have nutritious food um, brought right to their door. And so do you have any final words, Shelley, on it, just to encourage seniors who are watching and thinking about this to call and get more information? Oh, absolutely. I, I think, and if you're looking, you know, at a dollar value, you really can't beat it when you look at the prices in the grocery stores. And again, you know, at this particular time, what's handier than have someone walk up to your door and and hang a nice hot meal and and uh, you know some soup and a bun and and uh, uh, and a dessert. Yeah, you can't get any handier than that. All you have to do is make the cup of tea to go along with it. And I, I think it would it's wise for anyone to uh, give us a call. You know, even some of the younger seniors makes it really easy. Thank you so much, Shelley, for being with us today on Senior Support and talking about the essential Meals on Wheels program that's available in your community and indeed across the province. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, well, thank you for having me, Debbie.